Security that you're actually doing a part-time job. I know some of you are not going to want to hear this, but ideally probably before you start. And let me tell you why you should do it before you start. Because I've seen this posted on a variety of, of comments on my pages on YouTube here uh, under some of my videos. The reality is, is that everybody's circumstance is uniquely different. You might be receiving SSI, you might be receiving SSDI. The part-time work you have that's available to you maybe one hour a week or maybe 20 hours a week. You need to know in advance, you need to know in advance what type of the impact of you working will have on your current receipt of disability benefits. The reality is you're going to want to know that information because you don't want to come back to them later with it. The reality is most people are leery about contacting Social Security because they're worried that if they tell Social Security they're thinking about trying to try to work for whatever reason, it's going to trigger a disability review. As I have said in multiple videos, you have an ongoing responsibility to prove you're disabled. It doesn't end just because you found disabled and you just kind of hide in the crevices until Social Security finds you. That's not the way it works. They're always got their eyes on you. So, but you want to know ahead of time. When you're talking to Social Security, what you're really doing is bringing to their attention that you're thinking about testing the workforce for whatever reason, whether it be because the amount of money you're getting from disability is not enough, whether it's because you want to transition back out into the workforce and you're just putting your toe in the water. You want to know so they can tell you if, if you should try considering a ticket to work program or the trial work period, you know, any of those different things. So this way you're not sitting here rolling your dice thinking, hopefully if they don't find out I'll be okay. Also, the more information you have, the better. You want to be as educated about what the options are or the impact of you working is going to be on your case. That is more important than you realize. Why is it more important? Because uh, one, you don't want to trigger a review. If a review is going to happen, it's going to happen. So there's not a whole lot you can do to stop it from happening. Um, also, you got to keep in mind there's a possibility of having an overpayment. And you don't want that to happen. You don't want to be in a situation where you, you start working under the radar and because of the type of disability program you have, that that money um, may be counted against you negatively for those months that you didn't tell them. So what happens? Social Security either cuts off your benefits or they reduce your benefits until they can recoup that money. You don't want that headache. All right. Trust me when I tell you that you really don't want that headache. So what do you need to do in the interim? You need to prepare yourself for that reality. And if you can. If you can do it before you start, great. If you're already doing it, reach out. Don't be afraid. Remember, the government is running this program. You're a recipient of this program. You want to have as much information as possible so this way you're not caught off guard.